Hi folks, Corky Duke here and Access and Allies 1942 is the game and we're going to start a new game here. I'm going to play United Kingdom. I've never played them before. So, we want to see. Starting scenario. That's fine. Pro victory. That's what we want. A longer game. So, okay. That should do it. Um, let's start it. Okay. Now uh, Germany. Now Russia goes first. Let's see what kind of we got a factory in India. I definitely want to defend that. Okay. It's my turn already. Now I've never played, ever played as English before. So. So we got to keep this factory in India. So that means that the fighter there, I can land that in India. Yep, aircraft carrier. I got. No, oh, I got to try and. Hmm. You got to try and keep that. Oh, they got. They got two. Damn. Cruiser against a battleship and a carrier cannot outrun them. The fighter there, British fighter there. Hmm. I wonder what system this is. That's true. Should I build another factory there? Or I think that's risky. the infantry here and hold on to India. They already got they got is that two or three infantry in India. The artillery guy. That's three. That's what is that? No, that's not artillery, that's an anti aircraft gun. Okay. Gotta figure out what to buy here. Well, it looks like we better do a fighter. I probably better. I can try and ha have that fleet run for it, but I don't think they're going to make it. But I'll try. But I need to land that fighter there in India to protect that. So, we're going to buy a fighter. We don't have a whole lot of money. Two grunts. And another fighter, we'll have to put that in Britain. Five. So that would be an artillery piece. Put that in England too. Alright. Like I said, these are British too. Try to try and land that fighter in India. You know, I'll have two fighters in India. You see, the Japs are going to come after me here. And so I'll pull that infantry back because they don't have any tanks here, but they will build up. I'm certain of that. All right. Um, and this fleet's down here too. If it's a transport sub. I'm going to send that sub against this fleet here. So let's end the purchase phase because I've, I've purchased everything. So with that. Got one IPC left. Set. 
Well, how do I end the phase? To say, oh, just gotta hold it down. Well, I bought one artillery, two infantry, and two fighters. Okay, all right. I gotta hold it, hold it down. Is what I gotta do. Okay. So I'm sending the sub to attack this. They don't have a destroyer, so he's gonna get a first shot attack. And they're going to try and make a break with the other two ships. Any other combat I can do? I gotta land that fighter in India. As well as all the troops that I can fit over there. Because they're going to land. Still, India has to be my base where I launch. Because I can start building tanks there. Three tanks a turn. And launch them out of there to retake Asia and Africa if I have to. Because if history is any indication, I'm not going to be able to keep a fleet. Yeah, see, they've already sunk my fleet there. And they're going to sink that one. Oh, I can, I can not kind of move that tank into Britain. That, I, I think you can build a factory here. In Canada, look at that, they got three a value of three. That may be an option that I'm going to take up later on. I think that might be a good option because I can build a fleet here. Yeah. Matter of fact, I can build a fleet here that will be out of air range from Germany. So that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to leave that tank right there. Move my British fleet into the American fleet there. All right. Any uh, combat move? Two fighters. I got one bomber, right? That's a bomber, right? Okay, that's a bomber. I wonder if I should attack a sub and a cruiser and a transport. Yeah, I guess I'd better. I don't want them to build up too much of a fleet. And any other combat I believe so. It's a battleship and it's a transport. I'm not gonna mess with that. And risk that fighter. But I'll try and get that fleet out of there. We'll have them one, two. And that'll be just out of the range of the fleet, the battleship is what I'm concerned about. The fighter will be able to reach but then they run with the risk of losing their fighters. Okay, I think that's about it. I don't really think I can combat move anything else. Alrighty. So this is all new. The last time I played it, they didn't have this up here like that. So. But you gotta hit on combat, so I gotta hit that. Yep. Okay. Naval combat. Oh. Air and naval. Oh no, this is. What is this? Oh. Oh yeah, this is my air attack. I want it. Two hits. Oh, this is gonna go good. Huh? I didn't hit take any losses. Oh, can I not hit sink the? Uh, what did they call that defeat? I don't lose take any losses, but yet I sank the Navy. Well, except for the sub. I mean, apparently, I can't. No, 
ground combat, so if we gotta land this stuff, back in England. The bomb are back. There we go. Alright, we do all the other moves that I gotta move. Lot of them. This fighter is here, so we got two fighters defending. Two fighters defending India now. So this battle didn't go through. Figures. Let's try and get these away from the Japanese. I never moved that sub. Didn't I move that in there? of the factory that's that'll be out of range of their, their bombers and their fighters so that's what we're looking for and uh, I should that up I think that's it can't do anything else mobilization okay infantry two fighter We got three fighters in there now, and the rest goes on England. Artillery. So I got three fighters on England now. I should have. Now one bomber. It looks like everything is placed. I put a factory somewhere on the, uh, right there in Manchuria, but they always do. We'll keep building up the infantry and the fighters. Alrighty, so we need two more infantry and a fighter and a factory. Probably don't have any uh, very little combat move, if any. Okay, that fleet's still all right. So we'll just hit them. We won't bother with Panama Canal. We'll just well, maybe we better. We'll go through the Panama Canal one, two. Yeah, that'll be it. That'll work. And we got six infantry. Uh, air defense and three fighters. We'll move that infantry over here. Alright, that's about all I can do right now. Build that factory in northern Canada. That way we can put out our fleet there. Build up a hell of a fighter force here. I'm trying to move this fleet up to this to Chesapeake Bay, or not just the Hudson Bay. That's what that is, the Hudson Bay. All right, I think that's it. There's no combat move. We don't want to 
right now I don't really want to. Can I attack that sub? I think I can't. No, I guess I can't. I guess I, they don't let you attack subs anymore with, with fighters and bombers. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I can't attack it anymore. Well, that sucks. You used to be able to do that. Alright. So there's no combat movement. Non-combat. Alrighty. Get this guy here. Get this fleet. Over here. Get that lawyer. It would be nice to be able to keep that carrier. That would be super nice. And even if it's not a super carrier. Damn. Well. I'll keep it over here. Yeah, that's. I was miscounting it. You can't go Teddy Wampus diagonal in this game. Alrighty. Gotta keep building that force up in India. And I think that's it. You're gonna start pumping tanks out of that factory. And I'll probably go for Russia. If Russia falls, I if I should move my fighters to defend Russia. Can't really reach it. I think that's better. So we're going to move them here. We need to defend Russia. Keep my bomber there. I hope it's not going to be fruitless. Defend Russia. I don't want to lose a bunch of fighters. I like the new way that they got this set up. It's a lot more clear. It's a lot more easier. All right. A lot more easier to understand. So anyway. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, Japan is trying to work its magic on me. Well, America's landed in North Africa. How about that? Way to go, AM. USA, USA. Now, they probably won't stay, but at least they landed in North Africa. Let's see. Oh, looks like Russia took back a territory. They took that back from Germany. So if I land my fighters there, that should be. Alrighty. Um, we need we need no land. We need an anti-aircraft artillery. And uh, let's see. Air two fighters? Yeah. And land two infantry. Alright. Oh, America's helping me defend northern Canada. So it's good. Alright. Combat move. Hmm, much as I'd like to, I don't think it'd be a good idea. We've got to play defense for right now. We've got four fighters in India. This should be good. What, eight infantry or six infantry? Should I buy? To show what I bought up here. Um, Got to be a button here that tells me what I bought. One anti-aircraft, two infantry, and two fighters. 
Oh, crap. All right. Um, let's see. I don't think I got any combat moves. There's none combat. Oh, looks like I need to get this fleet over to Hudson Bay. That's going to be sweet. Especially with that carrier. Okay. So, combat, no combat move. Non combat. There's no. I don't see any fighters that can hurt this fleet. Well, we're going to stick to the South American coast anyway. We're going to meet right up with that fleet coming from uh, the Pacific. Or the, well, that was the other side of the Pacific. Right there coming. That's going to be cool. All right. This is working out good. Okay. I got to move this infantry dude in here. Those tanks, yeah, they're going to start coming. Now I kind of like we got to move those fighters into Russia and help them defend it. Hopefully they can, well, he's got eight infantry, so my fighters should do good to help defend it, I hope. I hate to lose them. Man, I hate to lose them. We gotta hold on to India so I'm not taking them off of India. Okay, so one fighter in India. Oh, right there. Yep. One fighter in India. Two grunts in India. That's the three limit there. And the anti-aircraft here. And the fighter, which I'll send to Russia. Hopefully it holds out. All right. That's it. Oh, well, Russia's, or I mean Japan's getting closer. We've got 11 infantry defending it. And the six fighters or five? Can't see that damn number. Five. And eleven infantry. That's gonna be a pretty strong defense. And America's doing well in North Africa. Look at that. They're helping us keep Africa. That's gonna be a big, big time plus. And they got is that a fighter or a bomber? Oh, that's a Russian. Huh. Okay. Purchase units. Okay, so what do I want? We're gonna... So let's... Let's get some tanks in India. And fighter. Much left over. Yeah, not anything left over. All right. Those three tanks in India. And again, no combat move. No combat move. I wonder if I should start strategically bombing Germany. I don't know. You know, got two fighters there, one tank. Well, we've been keeping our ball, oh, six tanks there. Yeah, that's kind of, they're going to go after Russia with that. we got to help Russia hold on. And another fighter coming. This fleet. 
really help out a lot. And I got a fighter there that can join that carrier. Yeah, okay. So there's no combat movement. I might as well strategically bomb Germany. What the heck? Okay, bomb. What we want. Alright. Yeah, might as well strategically bomb Germany. Get this fleet joined up. Look at that. All right. How about that? Our fleet joined up. That's about all we can do. That's all for my combat move. Now we gotta move this fighter into Iceland to help, them, help the Russians defend Russia. We'll land the next turn. Oh, I gotta land him. I forgot. Thank goodness for that, it reminds me that I forgot to land my bar. Alright. That's pretty cool. I think that's a new thing that they, because uh, there was an upgrade of the on, of this game on Steam, and I downloaded the upgrade, so. Mobilize units. We want three tanks in India. I'm going to get my racing. Okay. What the hell? What's going on here? Why can't I put anything in India? Did they follow me? Crap. I forgot to move that damn fighter in there, damn it. Ah. So how do I how do I repair? To repair it or just time repair it? India, free IPC. Five, 
fighters, one anti-aircraft artillery, 11 infantry. Okay. Well, tell me if I can or cannot place units there. Combat mobilization territories change. That's not my mobilizations. We pass rounds activity. Production allies go cut of London. I didn't, I'm not seeing that bomber, so I don't know if I shot it down or what's going on with it. Oh, it rushes in precarious situations. Gotta keep trying to defend it out. Gotta keep holding off. Ah, let's see. Let's try to put tanks in the India again. Maybe that'll work. And air fighter for you guys can get a artillery piece with that. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Combat move. We'll try bombarding Germany again. Try lose my damn bomber this time. Any other attack? I don't think so. We gotta get that fighter into Russia. Maybe even some of my fighters from here. Maybe we gotta help Russia hold off. They fall. If we succeed. Missed. Good. That's a little bit better. Okay, now in combat, so we're going to move that bomber there. That fighter here. How many infantry do they have defending? How many tanks? Are they got attacking six? They got 16 infantry. We got three fighters, and America's got a fighter. We'll put two of my fighters in there. Yeah. Non combat, so we're going to put two. And uh, if I do it, move this one here for the next turn. We've got to keep defending it. Then we'll move all this fleet into here.
you need to start buying aircraft for that carrier. Battleship too. Alrighty. Well, let's can't put anything in, man. That sucks. How do I get how do I get my I better check that out and how do I repair my damn factory there so it can produce units? Oh, America is invading Western Europe. Outstanding. It's going to take a lot of heat off of Germany because they're going to have to turn back around and go the other way. That's going to, I mean, take some heat off of Russia. Okay, now. Okay. This is. Ah, okay, I see. See, I'm not used to that. Okay. So that's how I repair the factory. In India. Alrighty. So we got 25. Need some fighters. And five will give us. Three will give us infantry. Okay. combat and keep bombing Germany. Especially with America. Coming in on the Western, look at that, Western Europe. Putting some serious pressure on Germany. That's cool. We got six British fighters defending Russia right now. Looks like 19 infantry. That's it for combat move. Combat. Good, he missed. Nice big six. Come on, six. Ooh, that's good. Five. Five hits. Good. He's only got, got 15 IPCs left, so. My one uh, British bomber was Lancaster's are doing a good job on the Germany. Alrighty. Okay, non combat. to get him into Russia. Okay. Well, now we got seven fighters defending Russia. They're holding on with America taking Western Europe like that. It's got to pull some of Germany's resources back that way, away from Russia. Give Russia a little break. So that's good. Okay. Well, let's do two fighters here. And one run. In India, to keep that defense up. I 
with all my that's all my uh, mobilization. Oh man, they're taking. I got that. They got two battleships there. Damn. So Japan is the one taking Africa right now. I somehow try to get, get attack those. We got six fighters. I might be able to take that battleship out. But I'm worried about the losses we'll take. We gotta go for it, I think. I gotta, gotta they're right there. I can throw six fighters at them. And maybe what I'll have to do, I can knock those two battleships out. Damn, it's going to take four hits to knock him out, though. Damn. Got 12 grunts. Keep buying fighters. I mean, that's what I got to do. Eight. What can I get? I'll buy a tank. I'll put that in India with two fighters. All right. We're all going to read. We got to hold on to India. We're, we're an island amongst the Axis powers. Oh crap! Russia took—I mean, Germany took Russia. All my fighters are gone. Damn. Damn. That means bad news for India, because now Japan and even Germany can concentrate on India now. Crap. But where are we at here? Combat move. I'm saving my bomber. I'm not going to risk him getting shot down. Because now I'm going to have to build up my air on that. I need to get some fighters for that carrier. Russia retake it. They got four infantry right there. Let's hope they can. America's got to hold on here too, so they got to get more troops landed in there. Okay. So we're at combat movement. I'm not going to do any combat movement. Two battleships. I need four hits to sink both of them. I got five fighters. That's not good odds. Especially when they only attack at a three, so it's a five die rolls with a 50% chance of each of hitting or missing. We gotta try and hold on to India as long as we can. And, uh, Launch a bombing raid, so there's no bomber to land. That's it. There's no combat. No combat. Mobilization. So, two fighter. I got to I got to put him there. And tank. Lost a lot of IPCs in South Africa like that for the Japanese. Sucks. Not much I can do about it. Crap. It looks like Russia's pretty much had it. So it's just us now. Oh! No, they retook, they, they retook Russia. Outstanding. 
Then we're the Japanese. Oh, Russia, Germany took it back. Damn it. And they don't have any more troops. Okay, America, you got to put some serious pressure on them. Germany now. This is a defensive delaying action that I don't like. One, two, three, four. I can get one battleship there. Land my fighters there, but then that leaves. You got five tanks there. That leaves India pretty much wide open as far as defense. I mean, I, I mean, they got that one battleship there. One, two, three. Four. See, I can. Then I'll have to land here in Madagascar. Take that battleship out. I'm wondering if I should. Oh, decisions, decisions. Then that leaves that leaves India more undefensible. We've got to be put three infantry. We guys got to build up the infantry so they can take the heat or take the hits. So that's what I'm buying for India. And the fighters will go elsewhere. I buy. And seven and C six for a tank or infantry. Infantry for Great Britain. We got to hold out as long as we can. It's a, it's a matter of time now. It's a matter of America putting pressure on Germany or even taking Germany if they take it for one turn. No combat move. I'll save my bomber if I get lucky with a see I like that. Okay. Maybe another bomber. Go after the Bismarck in the Mediterranean there. Now in combat and I don't think there's any non combat to do. I'm pretty much at a standstill. I got one, well, I got one fighter there that can land on that, on that carrier. See, okay, right there is the borderline, so I put it in the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So that's one that carrier now has one fighter. We'll need another one on it. There's not one over in England right now. So mobilization infantry in India. Get that infantry built up and the rest of them go here and then of course the fighter will go here. All right. All right. Come on, America, you got to put some more pressure on Germany. Just land some troops over there. Take, retake Africa for me. There we 
it's my turn. So, we've got seven fighters, 15 infantry, so we gotta keep buying infantry. To hold out on India. And then, fighters. Yeah, we need 12 for the bomber. But we'll buy a fighter. Alrighty. Okay. Combat move. I don't think I have any. Yeah, Germany is retaking France. Yeah. Things are not going good. Come on, America, you gotta land more troops in there. Japan doesn't seem to be pressuring either. Concentrating on Asia. I'm helping draw Japanese fire with India here. You guys gotta. Boy, I can't do any combat movement. May think about. Okay, what? But no. A bomber, I need defense. I don't think I got anything that's not in combat move. Yeah, I do. I'm sure I do. Yeah, this fighter right here. Runs of the fleet, so I got two car fighters on my carrier now. Alright. Okay. And we'll put the three infantry in India. That'll be. How many would that be? Hopefully close to 20. And a fighter in Britain. And that'll do. Alright. Come on, America. You gotta land in Western France. Isn't there we go. I need a battleship is what I need. Is that British fleet? I don't have enough, I don't think. Cruiser destroyer. Oh, I barely got enough. That's what I'm getting. How are we doing in India? I hate to take troops away. I got 18 troops in India. They got how many tanks is that? We got 10 tanks. Nine infantry. Oh crap. Well, I'm buying that battleship because it looks like I'm going to be losing India in another couple of turns. I don't know if there's any sense in putting any more defense behind it. Oh, uh, you know what? There is. Screw it. Three more fighters are going down on it. Oh. Okay, that's all. I only got 20, so I can only put two fighters. But hey. We gotta hold on to India. Hopefully we can uh, wear them down. They keep attacking. They haven't been attacking yet. Because I haven't seen any losses. But we'll get the, the infantry takes the hits and the, the fighters will do the damage because they defend at four. combat. So, I wonder if this would be a good enough fleet to move. They don't seem to have much of an air force in the block. Did I move my fleet over to the United Kingdom? They don't seem to have much of a loop off of. And then, yeah, that's what we gotta do. Oh, we can't reach it. Damn. Well, I like that. That's a lot better than the old way you used to have. Three transports? Is that what that is? American bomber? 
Cruising it. Two of them? Two troopers. Okay, good. And everything's moved over there? Good. Alright. We'll move them into this area here so the Americans can land troops with some protection with our fleet. Alright. They got a bomber in Gibraltar. Mobilization two fighters. Guess where they going? Alrighty. Gotta hold out India as long as we can. So I gotta put them. They got enough fighters there right now. They're attacking. They are definitely attacking. So I get up. We gotta put. If I lose, if I lose a good amount of them, oh come on! What? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, bull! That's bull! I can't see that fight at all. I swear this game cheats. I no, I really do. Well, this is not time to buy Battleship now. I don't have the money. But I can buy a fighter. Actually, I can buy a bomber. Well, I'll buy a fighter. Save my money so I can buy a Battleship next turn. Put it right there. So I got a fighter. I lost India. I was hoping it would take, hang on a lot longer than what it did, but that kind of sucked how long it didn't hang out for. Okay, America, you got to land troops and combat move on that domain of combat. Ah, combat. We'll do that. Got the entire British fleet there, so hopefully the Americans can start landing troops in France again. Russia's fallen. Uh, India's fallen. It's not looking good. So Japan's going to start going after America on the other side. Crap. Yeah, this is not looking good. How many transports do I have there? Three? Because I can land some damn troops. Now they'll just get taken over by that. One fighter. Goes in England. This is not going good. I swear this can't cheat, so. I'll be right back. All right, where are we at here? 
Alrighty. Okay, America. So we got six grunts there. I've got three transports. I don't have a battleship yet. We're going to need one. We can buy one now, though. And there it looks like they're building up their roof off of, again. Australia soon. They've already taken Hawaii. Man, come on now. Crap. Alright. Alrighty. So we need a battleship. Five left over for infantry. That's it. Combat mode, no combat. I'm convinced this game cheats. I really am. Let me know in the comments if you think this game cheats. As I think it does. I swear it does. That's an attack on India? Come on now. Come on, America, land the troops. Okay, got 18. Can I buy a carrier? I got two more fighters. Carrier is 14. I can. And I can land two more fighters on it. It's got to hold them off for a while. Let's do that. And for artillery. All right. No combat move. We got two battleships? You gotta be kidding me. Well, we're not gonna attack with just two battleships. I don't think. Unless they cheat. Which is probably what'll happen. Two battleships go in that entire sea zone and destroy my entire fleet. And I think the game's cheating. On combat. Can I move my fighters? Anticipation of landing on. I think I can. I think I can. We'll find out. Globalization. I do believe I can. Yeah, how about that? So now I got two carriers with four fighters each in uh, that C zone there. Let me guess, they took Australia. That's why I see a sudden dip in my UPC. No, nope, still have it. They don't have any transports in the area. Where 
they going up there for? Wait, I gotta see what they're trying to do up there. Can any way of getting rid of that? That's a two battleship. It's a battleship. Oh, that's a cruiser. Cruiser and what? What is that? Destroyer? In Iceland like that? Did I think that was a battleship before? Well, from here, there's one, two. I can support it with my bomber. I'm looking at unnecessary fighter losses though. I think I better put some tanks in Canada. For the transport. Six transports here. And one, two. So if the Japs take Western Canada I got tanks there. I can buy three tanks. Put them on there. Two tanks. Black. Alright, the one infantry. And I need fighters though. Crap. Six. Oh, I can buy one tank. It's gonna have to what we're gonna be what we're gonna have to do. Got seven tanks. I just think I should move these tanks into eastern Canada off of Great Britain. Got five infantry. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. That way if the Japs do take western United States, I can counterattack my tanks. Combat move, no combat move. Non combat move. I definitely love that a lot better than what they originally had when this game first came out. Because you were you almost couldn't tell what was being loaded up and what moved. It was just nice the way they fixed it. It's uh, a lot better this way. So you can see the three of them were taken off there and landed there in uh, Western Canada. Eastern, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Eastern Canada. All right. Mobilization. Fighter here and a tank there. All right. We got we got to do something. This is not going good for us. Once Russia falls, you're you're up shit creek. You really are. America's got five tanks up there. They need to do some kind of action down here, or I do. Maybe I do. They got five tanks up there. I can land some tanks down here. Oh, you got to be kidding me! What the hell did? Looks like they lost a Luftwaffe, but I lost a carrier. And fighters, too? You gotta be kidding me. And my transports. Oh, we got mine in this game. Jeez, come on now. What did it attack with? I don't even know what it attacked with. Oh, that's bull. What is that? A cruiser? What is it? You're supposed to tell me what it is, please? So, that's a battleship. Crap. Well, that sucked. No fighters? I got no fighters. Man, come on now. What did it attack with? I can't even see. I couldn't see the battle. 
How am I supposed to know the computer's cheating or not? That five or six tanks. I gotta, I gotta be concerned, more concerned with this right now. What can I buy in the way of ships? What's your problem? Those three transports are still there. So we're gonna need to see a destroyer. We're definitely gonna need a destroyer because there's a sub right there. Six subs right there. Crap. Cruiser. We're gonna need a destroyer. To counter that sub. Two destroyers, I guess. I swear, I swear it does. Combat what we don't want any combat. Move these transports back. They don't have any more. So I don't know have have any idea if they attack with combination of naval and air. If it was all Luftwaffe or what? I have no idea what what it attacked. What attacked it? Or diary combat move. Two cruisers, two destroyers, and six fighters. Season eight. That was that right there. Those are those two destroyed cruisers up here. Two destroyers and six fighters. Well, they lost all their fighters. I guess that's the only plus about that. <sighs> Crap. All right. What are we placing? Oh yeah, two destroyers. I don't have much of a loop off the left, so maybe I got a chance to build something up. Oh, I should, damn, I should have landed that fighter there. Damn it. What the hell happened there? Two cruisers, two destroyers, one fighter moved to attack C zone. Is that a battleship? That's my battleship. Alright. So it looks like that was a failed attack on their part. Two cruisers, two destroyers, and one fighter. Alright, good. Alrighty, so now we need a fighter. It doesn't give us much of anything else left. The transports. Gotta get two grunts. Got a fleet. Well, these. That's transport trade. Right? Okay. Oh, crap. Why did they get six? I don't like that move. I do not like that move.
Okay, why can't... Why can't... They're in this zone right here. Why can't they go through... The hell? There's a game cheating again. Oh. That's it. It's... Okay, no. Yeah. That was combat mode. We gotta do this in non-combat. Okay. Alright. Now we're, now we're getting there. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, okay. Cool. Boy, they got six fighters there. Crap. Gonna go into that C zone again? I hope not. Yeah, they are. They worked everything out too. Unbelievable. You have got to be kidding me. It's not even funny. Why am I still playing it? Now they've landed in Alaska. We got what? Eight infantry and eight tanks. I'll just have eight tanks. Those are American infantry. It's game sheet. I swear it does. I may not be playing it in the game sheets. Come on now. I can't see the combat? How am I supposed to know it's not cheating if I can't see the combat? Which, by the way, it controls the, the roll dice too. The dice roll. So, I mean, duh. You know, yeah, it's cheating. When you don't get your, you know, I mean... When you played the game, on the, when you played the board game, you know, a lucky dice roll was a lucky dice roll. But it didn't happen every single time you played. Every single time you rolled the dice, you know, you didn't get a lucky die roll. But in this game, it, that's what seems to happen. They get a lucky die roll. Alright, I may be able to attack that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attack that. So let's yeah. we got nine infantry, four artillery. We need fighters. We need defense. And we'll just keep building infantry. That move. I'm going to attack that. Hopefully, I can win it. I don't know where to move those transports to. I guess there's a sub there. Did I leave that sub there? Doesn't matter. All right. All right, come on.
Press on, I gotta press on. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, how does he get to defend at three? He doesn't get to defend at three. A tank? Since when do tanks get to defend at three? Even up. Might as well press on. What the heck? One hit. One hit. Press on. What the heck? Oh, of course. Course. A fucking course. Combat move. I don't know where I'm going to put the sub. America bombing Germany? Sure are. They lost Norway. This is not looking good. You basically got to hold on. Got to do infantry. One fighter, one infantry. Combat move. I sub attack anything? That's my sub, but yeah, that's the sub. So I'll just not combat him, try and try and get him to attack something. See, just the fact that I can't see the combat, you know, is just suspicious as fuck. I mean, there's there's no other way to put it. Is that battleship? Cruiser. Damn it, get out of there. Alrighty. Keep doing what we, we can, I guess. I don't know. At eight left. I gotta try to defend the English as much as I can. Okay. 
should be fighters and infantry. I guess I should strategically bomb. Well, no, let's let's hold off on that because I might get a chance to attack its navy with my planes. Like that's not a bad target right there. I'm going to attack next time. It probably won't be. Troops in Alaska. Oh, America took it back. Awesome. Outstanding. Good job, America. Alrighty. It just delays the inevitable. Inevitable. That's all it does. Yeah. See that. One, two. I can still. How many? Is that battleship? Those cruisers. There are five cruisers. What are cruisers attacking the planet? Where do they defend at? They defend at a three. Oh man, that's my fighters only attack at a three. So that's not that's not very the bomber attacks at a four, but uh, you gotta do this. Eight. Well, that'll be two more grunts. So one fighter, two grunts every turn. I don't dare waste them either. Yes. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait on the bomber attacking the strategic bombing because I might get a chance to attack their fleet if it gets too close. And it might be a, a good shot. I might have a real good cheap shot at attacking. So I'm going to attack. That aircraft. Ah. The idea of tanks there might be feasible now that the America has retaken Alaska. How long will they hold it for, though? That's the question. So I should probably put some tanks there. We'll do that next turn. If they hold up onto Alaska. It may seem like it's fair two countries against two countries, but in reality it's not. They got higher IPCs, so they can buy more stuff. Well, no, they didn't. Can I buy three tanks? I can buy exactly three tanks. No combat move. No non combat move. Mobilize. All right. I can attack one tank, and that leaves me vulnerable to more of their attacking tanks. Well, let's keep doing. Well, let's take a look at their. I mean, I got what six fighters and sixteen infantry defending England right now on one tank. So, well, let's go with this. Oh crap. Well, we'll put an infantry. We gotta somehow beat them back. So I can take those, that tank and the infantry pretty easily, but then they're gonna be counterattacked by the stuff in Alaska.
Alright, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's bullshit. That almost never happens when you play the board game. I could did I take any of them down I mean see that's the, the crap about this I can't see if I even took one or two guys down yeah. uh, Canada is a lost cause I gotta go back to defending England it is a lost cause I still get one fighter or two grunts. That, but soon that won't be, I won't even be able to get that soon. So I lose the rest of Canada. I bet that's three IPCs right there. Eastern Canada. And the raid. The Japs are moving tanks in there. Which we're not going to be able to stop it. I swear it does. And these, this game gets the luckiest die rolls imaginable. I mean, it just simply does. Whatever it wants to roll, it rolls. When I was playing America, and I was bombing Germany, and I'd have six bombers, I don't know how many times they'd knock four of them out of the sky. You need a die roll of one to do that. How many times is that? Roll six dice, and, and count how many times you roll four hits. You need a one for a hit. Count how many times when you roll six dice, you're going to, uh, six sided dice, that you're going to get four hits. How many times? Yet every single time I, I flew a mission with six bombers. Now where the hell did that go? Oh, you got to be kidding. Purchase shoes. See, I, I can't see the, how? And I can't see the combat, how? Oh, I see. That's bullshit. I lost England. It's just America now. This game's over with. Yeah, so. Fair winner now? That's ridiculous. Come on. Just declare the damn winner. I need two more points. I can't mobilize any units. I don't have no order. Oh, yeah, I can. No, I can't. Japan took it. Now I can see the combat? How does this happen? Follow, okay. And this this is it. This is over. Ah, oh, delete game. Okay, well that's it. That, that was my great loss is Britain. Um I'm Corky Duke, Corky Duke got comes on my website. And uh this game sheets, I swear it does. I absolutely swear it does. I don't know how many more times I'm gonna keep playing it because I swear it cheats. The, but anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, Y'all take care. Bye.